Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some delicious chocolate chip cookies, perfect for weekend baking. This recipe does make quite a lot, but you can just keep your dough chilled in the fridge or you could freeze it. And then when you want to get it out and you want, you're craving those cookies, you can get it out, roll it, cut it and bake them fresh. I'm gonna go through all the steps and show you how to make this. So make sure you carry on watching this video. The first thing to do is cream together 225 grams of unsalted butter with 200 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of soft brown sugar. If you don't have soft brown sugar, you can just use all caster sugar. If you don't have an electric whisk, you can just use a wooden spoon. It just takes a little bit longer, but it's absolutely fine. And this is the appearance that you want to achieve. I also added in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I forgot to mention at the start. Add in two eggs to the mixture. Using an electric whisk like I am, there's no need to whisk the eggs beforehand, but if you're doing it by hand, then I would whisk the eggs up in a measuring jug first and then add them in separately. In a separate mixing bowl, I've sieved in 370 grams of plain flour with one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of hot chocolate powder. I'm gonna add in half of this mixture and then give this a good stir. Once most of it's been incorporated, you can add the other half of the flour and give this a stir until it's all combined. Add in 100 grams of milk chocolate chips, 100 grams of white chocolate chips. Because I love big chocolate chunks in my cookies, I'm gonna add in 50 grams of plain chocolate chunks and 50 grams of white chocolate chunks. Give this a stir again. Using my hands, I'm now just gonna slightly knead this mixture together and just get make sure all of these bits of flour are incorporated. Get your dough and wrap it in some cling film. That is one big cookie dough ball. You wanna chill this in the fridge for 15 minutes. Whilst your dough is chilling, you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees or gas mark four. I've let this chill and I've just cut the dough in half because I'm only going to make half of the cookies and then leave the other dough to chill and make some more tomorrow. Put a little bit of flour on your work surface and your rolling pin and you want to roll out the dough. Keep turning it every 90 degrees to make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. And then you want to roll it out to the thickness of about a pound coin or roughly one centimetre. From the outside in, you wanna cut your cookies. Then place your cookies onto a lined baking tray. Gather the rest of your cookie dough together and then re-roll it and cut out some more cookies. Bake in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. They will be soft when they come out the oven, but you've gotta let them cool on the baking tray and they will harden up. If they do stick together a little bit like these ones, don't worry, you can always just separate them once they've cooled. And there we have it, some freshly baked cookies. Imagine a cold, wet winter evening, eating these with a glass of milk. Oh, just heaven. Cannot wait to try one of these. Got that good crunch on the outside, but then that soft middle. They are just perfect. I'm going to go and eat one or two, or maybe four of these now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video.